and in charge. Welcome back to the Halo Dickheads podcast. We got a big crew here today. We got Biggs and OG. We got Goatman and Bo as well. You guys all know us. No need for introductions. I'm having a psychotic episode right now. That's about to I gotta leave this party. Hey. Hold on. Right. You guys, I gotta leave this party. If you guys want to listen, yeah, join the join the podcast. You talk to us. You talk to the spirits in your room. He's in. He's in the Xbox Live chat with the hot boys. All right, yeah, I, I, I got out of that party shit. Sorry, guys. I had somebody talking in my ear while I was talking to you guys. Hey. You talk to us, man. Are you talking to your fucking? What are you talking to now? So anyway, uh, let's, go. let's go with a bunch of HCS um, updates that we're going to talk about right now. A lot of stuff has happened to Halo since the last time we've talked about the Halo Championship Series. We've been more montage focused and such the last episode or two. But um, now that there's more stuff going on, 343 Industries put out a, um update on their blog regarding a bunch of things that are going to be happening. Um, one of the biggest things that I wanted to talk about was that there's no longer going to be an open bracket at the event on LAN and everything's going to be played on Xbox Series X's with being hosted on PCs for the main server. So what does that mean as far as the open bracket? Does that mean that it's all going to be online? What? It's all online. Okay, okay. Um, How does host work on Halo 5? I think we spoke about it before, but I was quite drunk and I don't remember what you said. They're dedicated servers and stuff, but it's... Um, they're short, surely, but I mean, that's the same way even if we're... When you're on land on, on on the older halos there'd be a slight advantage if you're on host yeah yeah obviously um but they use a pc as like the hub in you know as the main network hub for where the data is getting transferred it's all on the local it's, it's, it's all it's local network X, it's all on the same modem series and shit the, um, the series x like the um xbox one but like a little bit better or is that the new one yeah the series like i just got a series x and it's it's night and day difference man like i like that new, that's the new one isn't it yeah goat can attest this my mine actually runs warzone like it actually runs yeah. it <laughs> like it's unlike, unlike my xbox yeah Wheel. Yeah, I, mine does the same thing as goats when it doesn't even render the fucking guns and like everything's all busted and not loading and like. Yeah. And, but point is, is that they're going to be playing on the Series X um, until well, they, they, they fix stopped, the they issue. Just said recently, Microsoft said they, um, the, the Xbox One was an X console, didn't they? They actually stopped making Xbox One. I yep. Think, um, There's no more. So yeah. they're still making the Series S and X. But they're not making the original Xbox One X, the Xbox that's, One that's S. That's what me. So, like, the Series X is the new one. Like the new yes, Xbox. the Series. Series is the word you got to look for. Series is, like... They've got an Xbox One X as well. I have... Goat and I, the one that doesn't w run well, Warzone going, well at all. I'm going to the store. I'm going, I'm going to the store. I'm dyslexic, yeah? Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. I know. I'm going to pick anything. It used to be called Project I, I, Scarlet. I, I, thank you. Yeah, well, the, the new Xboxes used to be called Project Scarlet, which they should have kept going with to avoid confusion. But um, anyway, the... Uh, go, uh, go buy an Xbox. He's going to come home with a DVD player. Yeah, so the... Uh, he's going to try to put his uh, he's gonna try to put his Halo 2 disc in the DVD tray. Why isn't this working? How much are the um, new Xboxes then? Because I know that... About 500, 600, know. depending on the hard yeah. drive size. Well, you're getting 100 and you're getting 120 frames out of it. It'd be like a deal on something else that wasn't an Xbox, you know. Um, I don't know. I think it's just it's just as good as a gaming PC in terms of frames and responsive. You're an Xbox one like me, still, aren't you? Yeah, it's shitty original Xbox One. Mm-hmm, man. Yeah, me, me and Big's are the poor. See, I've got the one from 2000. Was it fucking it came out in 2014, didn't it? I think. Yeah, it the, the, the big brick one. Yeah. So I got I got an MCC came out. What year did that come out? So I got it. I, I think fifteen. Yeah. I got, okay, I got it. Twenty sixteen. I was really mad that she didn't get me it that year. So yeah, I've had it. That's yeah. not that long of a cycle. But I mean, I guess I don't know. Seven I mean, years for MCC. Yeah. I mean, it's a long cycle. I mean, it is a long cycle. But I mean, the, the thing is that obviously it's COVID or whatever. There's none of these machines are in the shops, are they, for the new um new generation I don't know how it yeah. is now yeah I've, I've actually never seen a new Xbox in a, an actual retail store I, yeah I, no I they're they're sold out so fast yeah I've seen a couple playstations but, but the fucking scalp I mean well they, they, they sell the Xbox in Hot Topic today goat man <laughs> <laughs> no he goes to Spencer's now dude <laughs> <laughs> sorry man I can't resist it 
Anyway, sorry, Blake. So, yeah. Oh, that's no big. We're just, we're just fucking around. Um, the top eight teams from the kickoff major in Rayleigh started not only in the first Pro Series tournament, but also earned pool play at the uh, Anaheim qualifier. By the way, no spectators either. So this is going to be a – this is not a major event. It's a minor event. Still pro points on the line, still money on the line. But it's going to be – in terms of presentation, don't think of anything high end or anything cool that's going to come from the stream. Um, it's going to be very minimal, just probably main stage and the commentators, people wearing fucking two masks. It's going to be pretty boring. Why is, why is that? What's the prize pool then? Um, let's see. I think it's. Uh, I actually don't know. It's a good question. It doesn't show it in the blog here. I'm sure I can go Google it though. Um. Hey, you look really fucking stoned, bro. I'm about to catch up with him after I'm done reading this when you guys start talking. You look really fucking stoned. Right <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. This guy's been smiling and not saying shit the whole time. All right, check this out. So, um, What's up, big man? Originally, Pool Play in Anaheim was going to feature 12 teams in the qualifier on January 29th. The 30th was going to find the last four teams. However, with 16 total teams in attendance, the qualifier will now take the top eight teams and see them through to Anaheim instead of four. Those additional eight teams will also be provided travel coverage to the event. So to compensate for not having any open brackets, they're just going to pay for players to play, essentially. Um, the championship brackets double elim. It's going to be all 16 teams. Best of five grands uh, Grands will be seven. What's up? I haven't seen anything about that, and I doubt it due to the lack of attendance capabilities. What's what? What's the official like, FFA map on Infinite? Um, I, th I don't know. I'll have to double check. But I'm, I'm making my own settings right now for the upcoming land I'm throwing. I'm not even going to fucking... Because FFA always, FFA always has radar, has radar in competitive settings. And the radar in Infinite is so fucking dog shit at 18 Wait, meters, it ruins the game. Is radar in competitive Wait, settings? Yeah. What, what day is your what? event? What am I talking about? Sunday, 23rd. Shut the fuck up there, man. We'll speak louder then. I've told you a million times to get your plane tickets. The twenty third. Twenty third. Okay, I'll go buy Tw my fucking plane. Twenty third. <laughs> anyway. See, yeah. see that goat man get, getting a bit fucking shirty, you know. <laughs> but um, let, me hey, here, let me finish my thought here. Let me finish my thought here. This is really important. Next time I'm gonna come see you next, Bo. Yeah. He, you know, you can see me. He's gonna, he's, he's gonna fucking bury me if he sees me. <laughs> <laughs> um. He's, he's, a, he's gonna make me suck him off and call him the Pax Champ. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ, bro. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm, I'm gonna be making my own FFA settings for the the land that I'm throwing for the free for all. I mean, goat, goat, you and I and everybody in here knows that I love I love FFA. That's what I've always competed in best. So I've performed in best. I'm not much of a team player. If I do, I play the support role. Um, but FFA, I know that the fucking radar in Halo Infinite is dog shit. Especially with sprint being implemented, there's no like it doesn't have a fucking use. Like by the time you notice somebody on there, like with the aim being as shitty as it is, unless you're playing like double max sensitivity, there ain't no way 18 meters is gonna be good for anybody. So I'm probably gonna experiment a little bit with the game, play with some friends at like 25 meters, see if that helps out a lot, eliminate some of the bullshit. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be timed timed rounds. Um, just just like the old just like the old game battles days you know and then whoever performs best in those brackets is going to be team captains and we'll draft out teams based on performance um but let's go to uh covid protocol here this is uh this is interesting so right across the street from the convention center is disneyland it has a fifty thousand person capacity <laughs> yeah, go, go, man. Kids everywhere, man. That'd be you. That'd be you, Bo. You shave the mustache. What's going on? I know. I need to get the pedophile mustache back, man. Yeah, let's all do it. Right. Biggs is beating us to it. <laughs> it suits him, man. It suits him. Anyway, um. Grow a fucking pedo mustache. Yeah. Here, here, check this out. Day by day, week by week, around the COVID-19 pandemic, everything continues to change. While we're glad to be able to still have competition on land, we will need to abide by local regulations and work by... Okay, so local regulations. 50,000 people allowed at Disneyland, literally across the street. So it's not local regulations that are causing this in California. Here's, here's the second part of the sentence that matters. And work with the Microsoft security and events teams. Below is what you can expect at the event. 
All players and staff must attest to their health in the Microsoft Health Check app each day and check in before entering the venue. For those vaccinated, you must upload your vaccination proof to the Microsoft Health Check app. And all players and staff must provide proof of negative PCR tests within 72 hours of entering the venue. So, like, Microsoft is doing everything in their power to, like, like they're struggling right now. They got this huge behemoth of a game that they dumped, like, half a billion dollars into. And then they have, like, their COVID protocols. And they're choosing to, like, lose money on attendance in order to make their COVID protocols normalized. So expect that if you're going to the event to have all I that mean, shit in line. I mean, I, I completely agree with you, Blake, that they're, 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 they're fucking themselves, but I guess that as a company that large, they have to cover their own ass, don't they? Because you have, <laughs> you have some, you know, I, I'm with you, mate. Yeah. I'm not big being. I know, man. It's yeah. something with 99.8% survival, yeah, man, can fuck off. Yeah, you, you know, you know they if, if I was in that position, I'd be doing the same thing. You know? yeah, I wouldn't. You don't want to get sued. And I'm not going to. Come to the land. You don't need a mask, by the way. Fucking come on through. No no bullshit. No bullying. No asking you for your health records. No, just come on through. We got you. The only thing we have in the fucking Blake's thing is that we have a penis inspection. When you walk yeah, you got to. You gotta... if, if you're under four inches, you can't come in. Sorry, go man. I'm going to I'm gonna get the ruler out. <laughs> We're going to regulate, all right? Shit, I'm going to go get some water. I'll be right back. All right. Let me finish <laughs> up this blog here. <laughs> And then we'll, I'll finish up this blog and then we'll catch on the, catch up on the chat. Uh, in the first ecosystem blog, which released almost a year ago, we state our original goals for HCS and they still hold true. Blah, 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 blah. All right, here's the new goals. They want to extend engagement outside of our games with players and potential players. So they're probably going to be doing collaborations with other Twitch streamers, paying them out to come suck infinite stick. Uh, build a platform that play, uh, players, teams, sponsors, tournament operators, and content creators can sustain successful business around. Participating and investing in Halo needs to be provided based on their goals. So people like me, people like Australia, Penn Halo, all these guys that are tournament organizers, they want to start throwing more money at. Um, hopefully, um, Zodiac here and our tournaments will provide enough entertainment value to maybe even get some money from HCS for prize pools and such, whatever. Uh, build a vision and aspiration for our fans, players, and gamers to create a movement. Uh, if we've all been together, okay, whatever the fuck that means, that's vague. Uh, create exciting and epic moments in gaming culture. Okay, again, vagueness. This is there's a lot of vagueness in these posts that three four three puts out just to kind of fluff up the article. Yeah, there's no there's no really accountability. Somebody, somebody in the chat says, Blake, uh, what tourneys are you going to be throwing? Infinite or H two classic? Uh, well, it's good. I'm glad that you asked because there's going to be. Um, I'll cover it real quick. We have Infinite as the main thing on all the PCs. But in the other room, we're going to have classic Xbox consoles. All uh, My buddy LD50, really smart guy, really cool, nice dude, great Halo competitor. Oh, yeah, he's going to bring... Yeah, yeah, he's, he's cool. He is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so he's going to bring a bunch of classic Xboxes that are all modded to have 60 frames and shit. So we could play classic yeah, Halo 2. Like what? Because that's the thing, if I was going to go to a Halo 2 tournament, a lot of the old school guys would like, already play on OG Xboxes. I'm so used to playing bumper jump, but I cannot. Yeah, remember. right. It's hard. Yeah. I used to play green thumb back in the day. So you can imagine like that fucking change. I know. Right. Trying to I scope. I mean, is that, is that something they could do actually? Like they can mod like everything else. Why can't, could they mod what button? To lay out into it? You have to go into the controller itself, uh, but you, it can be done. You'd have to like do some little soldering work. But... I haven't got to do it, but I'm sure they could. Yeah, but, but yeah, if you if you want to order it, let me. I'll ask Zach if he can make you a bumper jumper classic fucking console uh, oh, controller. You know what you can do. You know what you can do is um. Those are you holding? Sake. That's not water. What did you, what did you say? This is a fucking diet coke. Oh, you, know, water. Water. you said you're gonna go get water, and you came back with with cane sugar. <laughs> oh, he caught me. He got me. He he does have water. All right, well, um, <laughs> so uh, we're hey, seeing, uh, yeah, you have a fucking argument, you cunt. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, hey, let, let, me, let me finish my thoughts here, okay? Go on, then take the cum out of your mouth and speak. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, if you ever remember just getting a boxing match right in the fucking airport. <laughs> <laughs> now I'll wrap your hands and put on the gloves. You guys can just duke it out on the grass. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> he does this. God damn. 
<laughs> yes, I would. <laughs> like, like this coke, like this coke bottle. <laughs> I bet you wish you were that fucking shape, weren't you? Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, the um, you know, like the Chronos and the Titan and shit. If you yeah, got yeah. if you got one, you can remap the buttons on that. You mean? Yeah, but I, I, that, that's faggot shit. Even if you have that, it's like having a dildo you have on display. Even even if you ain't using it, you're a faggot. They could be used for more than just fucking cheating. Well, Goat's left handed, so that helps him out, I'm sure, if you're able to use exactly. it. Exactly. Well, but Southpaw was a, a layout, but yeah. if I, I play I play Southpaw Boxer, so like back then Southpaw and Boxer were two different settings. So right. I play both. But now I play both. So for me to go so back to that, my muscle memory would be all fucked up. Play at the moment. Go, man. Really autistic shit, man. So I play I play Southpaw, uh, which is swap bumpers and triggers. Tall, so I can work out. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I play swap bumpers and triggers. So my left and right bumper are now my right bumpers and triggers except my left bumpers and triggers. So I swap those, right? Yeah. And then I, yeah, uh, I play I I play, uh, uh, left trigger shoot. Show the camera. Show the camera the double claw. Yeah. Get real close yeah, on there. Yeah. That's how I hold my controller. See that chat? Okay. So, left my left middle finger is pull the trigger. Okay, that's that's shoot. My left yeah. middle finger is, is tr trigger pull. Uh, yeah. And then A, B, and X, and Y are gonna be um, boxer. Um, no, it, it's boxer buttons, southpaw triggers. Mm -hmm. So I play boxer except my my. I well, shoot, how would you double chop? It's left trigger, left trigger. It's on X. Reload button. Left trigger, left trigger, X, Y, Y. Goat yeah. almost hit a zero framer the other zero night. Framer. Yeah. So, uh, I heard actually box a lot. I think Jonas used to do that for sword flies. I actually did box for a long time to try to do double shots because I found out it was actually it was um, easier time with the left hand. But then I got the rhythm my right hand because it's my dominant hand. Mm -hmm. yeah. are, you, are you left hand? Are you left handed then, Goat? I'm left handed. I'm left handed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that makes yeah. sense. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah. But not only that, but you think about it, right? So with your right hand, you're you're aiming, you're hitting A, B, X, and Y, and you're shooting with your right hand. What is your left hand doing? Walking around? It's doing nothing, right? Yeah. So I was figured, well, instead of doing everything with one fucking hand while I'm trying to aim with that thumb, why not take half the workload and put it on my left side of my controller? That way I can do yeah. twice as much with, with two hands instead of, or have as much with two hands and twice as much with one hand. Right. Yep. And then I took it one step further, and you know when when you're running in a direction and you crouch, you sacrifice yep. move you sacrifice movement because when you press down on the on the thumbstick, that's that's your walking stick. So if I'm if I'm scraping, it, it depends. It depends if you it depends because for me my walking stick with this one, I crouch down. Then I my my so a whole lot of that. So all these uh, are operational for me. So Wait, so what you. In, you crouch with your with your left thumbstick though, right? Yeah, I'm loading up MCC right now. It's gonna show you some shit. Okay, but let, 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 let me finish. So when, yeah, when you possible. when you when you crouch down with your left thumbstick, that's also the direction you're walking or, or running, right? So what I did is I remapped my left thumbstick when you crouch down. I remapped it to my left bumper. So when I play that that hold on. Yeah, and I, I get when what I you're saying. That, when I when I play that double claw. My left index finger is on the left bumper, so when I crouch, I hit the left bumper. Yeah. So I, got so I, I never press down. See, see, what you just said is the perfect and that uh, perfect explanation of our different play styles. Yours is for efficiency. Yeah. I don't care. I don't care about the lack of efficiency because if I get out skilled, it's my own fault, and I want to do something dirty. Yeah. Out skilling me. You get what I mean? Yeah. But so I don't know if it's, so, don't know if it's in play I, because of the. Um, but I'll show you right now. Like, but you know, then I switch. I switch names with my right bumper. I switch names with my right bumper. So instead of your left trigger, it's your right bumper that throws nades. So it's like Call yeah, of Duty. Right. Uh, well, no. Um, so look, like for example, so switches nades, but B button throws nades. Oh, okay. Goatman, Goatman, yeah. if you're on South Park, but I, but I claw, but, so nades. Yeah. Yeah, but Goatman, Goatman, if you're on South Park, you should, if you claw. Bumper jump is literally the best way to do it. So if you're clawing, right? Yeah. So 
that LB is going to be your fucking melee, Earth Trigger your fucking shoot. It like so to me, but I don't know if you can see it right now. I don't know if it's fucking showing up, but look, it's that easy. Look. So you say left bumper would be melee. So, are you saying to make my right trigger X? No, bumper you... the B, no, 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 the B should always be the reload. So if you're your right hand's your e reload. Hand. You're using these three here, right? Yeah. So you want to, to me RBX every single time. So is reload. is YY the same? Yes, it always are the same. Okay, so it just said I reload. I reload the B instead of X. Like, here's the thing. Look, so everybody says RBX, for example, is the hardest combo, right? Yeah. On bumper jumper, it's easiest for me because yeah. it's fluid motion. It really is. You can even like. I don't know if you guys see, even see my screen, to be honest, but fucking. It's kind of blurry, but I, I can kind of. Yeah, I imagine it is. It is. It's like it. It starts with your middle finger, and then like moves down like a like a waterfall. Yeah, it's one. So like, I, 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 I try, it's hard to do it when I'm actually slowing it down. But it's uh, let me try if I can do it without fucking looking at the controller. Ah. One fluid motion, you see. Oh, you're keeping your thumb on the. Uh... You're keeping your thumb on the joystick when you're RRBXing. Always, because that's the point of coring. If you're coring, it means you can quad shot what aiming. Otherwise, yeah. there's no point. Otherwise, there's no point in coring. Coring was invented so you could do combos. So you could aim your double shot. Yeah. yeah I, 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 I aim my double shot. Reason to coring. I usually yeah. follow, I'd usually just follow it with strafing and it just stays locked on them due to the aim yeah, assist. But but... Some, no, bro. If, if, you play, if you play, if you claw your double shots, when somebody's jumping, you can actually arc the double shot. Well, I usually just jump I, with them. Like, I, I just I respond to their shots. movement. Like, Blake, Blake, you watch my videos, right? All yeah. Fucking double shots and shit. I understand what you're saying. I used to do that where you line them up by strafing in line with them. Yeah. Yeah. But no, when you call, when you call properly, you can fucking double shot, fucking shoot everywhere. You hit a, man. you've hit a 360 yeah. RRBX double kill doing that. Exactly, because because when you when you do it like that, it's this stays on there. Th these. Yeah, this water tastes like shit. <laughs> this floor, do everything Don't get it out of the toilet next time. The fuck. Bro, you been in my fucking refrigerator lately, man? Why does that water taste like fucking shit water, man? Oh my goodness. I don't even know. I don't even know how to drink this brown water, man. Go get my tequila. But yeah, Blake. What about you, Biggs? What do you play? What do you do? When you pour and you've got a fucking. No, you know what? You know what, I, you know what I really want you to show me, bro? I want, me to show, I want you to show me your little secret how you fucking drag snipe and lightning snipe everybody. I don't know what layout that is, how you just go, wham, wham, and just like, all right, do it. Show me. Brother, go pick I up mean, the sniper, kid. I can snipe, but for the, li the life, here you guys go. The secret sauce. The, the secret sauce. The cat's out of the bag. Sitting it with the YY. Cats, the cat's out of the bag. It's the YY. <laughs> it's the claw YY. Look at that. Look at that. So goddamn fast, you can only see one yeah, frame render. What are you render. doing there? Let me see your fucking fingers, bro. That's what I want to see. I'm what are you doing? Trying to, I can't fucking do it like this, bro. I'm trying. Look. You're not even fucking shooting anybody, you autistic, man. Uh, you how, you, how can you not do it, bro? You're shooting He's doing it. it. He's putting the pressure, man. He's doing it right now. I'm watching. I'm seeing like two frames of scope. He's doing it right there. He just did it. He just did it, he just did it like four times. It was a woman or a video game. <laughs> Video games are harder. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what are you doing? You're like, what? What, are the, what is the button sequence? That's what I want to know. It's just why? Why when you're scoping? What it is? It's it's you, you you've got to. It's more about the opponent. It's not about the input. You're reading the opponent, especially when it's a uh, MLG settings and they're behind you. Your timing the BR to their movement. A lot of people will strafe the same way when they're BR and they do left to right stuff. You time that and it's just it's just automatic. I don't really have to explain it because I mean I guess because it's been automatic for so long. Well, let me ask you this. When you zoom, is do you zoom with your right thumbstick? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's like you don't have like zoom map to like like fucking left bumper or something. Like, no, 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 it's always right thumbstick. Always okay, right okay, thumbstick. okay, 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 okay. It allows you to drag and scope at the same time. If you're gonna be stylish, yeah, that's that's the best way. Always, there's no other better way, right? Okay. If you're gonna be I've good, always, if you're gonna be, be good sniper, yeah. if you're gonna be good consistent sniper, don't do that. 
if you want to be stylish, that's how you do it. It's it's. I'll, I'll try and show you one more time. Though. It's, I get what you you're know, saying. You're right. You're right. You're right. Because when I snipe, I almost walk people into my gun, but you drag the snipe across their face. It's timing the aim assist that activates with the scope you, too. You 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 watch me snipe, and I'm very consistent, but yeah. it's very almost I would say boring. It's almost like a like clinical like. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. You, you know it's coming, and then boom, it happens. But with you, well, that's like, what I said to you before. You for you, it's like cracking up. Yeah, yeah. I said to you that like I don't think you could. I personally don't think you could do montage stuff because you're you you are too clinical. And I think that you with with montage and stuff, you've got the biggest thing that we're used to is a disappointment. Yeah. So you could be on like a trusty, a trusty, and you have something going crazy. It doesn't work out. Bigs. And that's that's what happens the most. You got a sesh hat on, don't you? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Hell that's yeah! I just I just noticed it. I was like, wait a minute. Oh my god, I love it. I have that hat somewhere too. It's somewhere. That's awesome. I got the rolling tray coming soon too. Anyway, Goat's gonna hit clips. Don't tell him he's not gonna hit clip, bro. He's a fucking. No, no, but no. That's gonna drive Goat he's crazy. Right. He's gonna he's fucking do it no, faster. No, no, he's right. He's fucking right. He's right. Nah. I know he's right. Nah, you'll get it. My clips and his clips don't look. I mean, dude, it's just. Bro, if I can learn to drag scope, you can. Like, come on, bro. Blake, I, Blake, I'm not saying it's a goat man in a disrespectful way. He's my fucking homeboy. You know I love him. He knows I love him. But I'm saying to him, I'm just being real. I've been around the montage for fucking 15 fucking years now, man. Fucking, I, I know I know how people fucking work, man. I know how people work. Mm. Yeah. No, he's, he's right, man. Goat man could do it, but he'd have to abandon everything else. And the problem with that is that he'd be hosting FFAs, taking chances. Then he'd be fucking seventh, eighth in the leaderboard. Yeah, <laughs> and, and then kids, and then kids are gonna say goat lost his, his touch. Dude, exactly. Somebody the other day, I was warming up, and you guess what exactly. I was doing? I was doing double shots, only double shots. And some kid came in, and he was trying his fucking white knuckles off. And guess what? He he beat me, right? And goat man, and the thing I got is, man, I'm and, right there with you. I'm, I'm right there with you. The, I always have that prior thing. The only prior thing I have nowadays is that, oh, if somebody wants a one v one lockout, yeah, I'll give it to them. But I have to be fucking sober to play because that's one thing I care about is one v one. Yeah, I'll play somebody one v one, but I have to be sober. Yeah, see, what uh, what I was saying though is I was screwing around, and I was just, I was like, oh, I'm gonna do what Blake and Hyena said. I'm gonna start double. I'm showing your head, your head went, I'm, I'm a, it? What? What's up? Your head went because they were fucking with you because you were fucking. Look, you, it looked like you were playing shit when you were trying to learn. Yeah, to play. yeah, I was trying to play. And they thought I was playing shit, and I'm like, like, dude, I'm trying to do this thing, and they're trying, they're evading, they're they're nading, they're strong siding, they're doing everything to like win, and then the guy ends up winning, right? And the first thing, it goes right to Twitter, right to Facebook, right to all social media. Screenshot, screenshot. I beat Goatman. He ain't shit. It. And it. it got posted everywhere. And I was like, what is this? Like, I thought we were warming up. I mean, that's, yeah. that's one of the reasons that I, I was, that's one of the early reasons that I used to use, um, oh, the Smurfs, what they call them. And yeah, Smurfs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'd be, I'd be like trying to do like, but the, the, the double melee. Fuck those weirdo yeah. kid yeah. egos, and dude. Fucking, fucking thing or whatever the fuck it is. I would get, I could give less of a fuck if I'm practicing yeah, like quad R R B X's and losing FFA. Realize, though, Blake, like if I start yeah, like, and, and, and R B Xing and quadding every fucking kill and getting seventh place in my FFA, people would be like, oh, this guy doesn't. Yeah. I'd yeah, respect yeah. you more like, for like, challenging like that than the player that won the game, like, but that's just me. Like you should think this as well. You should be, you should agree with this because look, look, I'm all about fucking raising people up and uh, and let them fucking learn shit right. Uh, there's nothing to learn if there's not a a level to this shit, right? The people stay on the level because they can do certain things. They're known for doing certain things. They can prove certain things, right? Yeah. So that's why I said like Goat Man. Goat Man didn't want to lower himself to learn that shit, which I don't blame him for. That's why he's on alts and Halo Three. You say you don't give a shit, Blake, and you might not, but you know. It, it... Put yourself in my shoes. Yeah. <laughs> Put you. Take yourself out of your shoes. Put yourself in my shoes. Not to say that me and you are wearing completely like like I'm some like full like other level. No, I get it. I get it. You like, yeah, you see it different. You see it different. People have a certain expectation of my gameplay. People, <laughs> have a, people expect 
People don't play the day expecting me to lose. People don't expect me to lose at anything when they're playing Halo 2. People expect me to win. Well, so me, me as a me as a fan, I would I would never hold that against you for doing that. But people that do hold that against you for doing that are fucking weirdos. Like they're not they're not good people. I don't know you for right now. About fucking seven eight years, bro. Yeah, something like that. Like I've seen I've seen him fucking fucked up drunk once once on lobby losing. That's it. How many times have you seen me hosting? Fucking drunk out my ass, getting fucked up. Okay, Both yo. Eight yeah. Eight years. I seen Goatman like that once. Once, yeah. <laughs> I never, I never drink. I never let my guard down. I, I just always just like was trying to get better, 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 and I got better. Yeah. Steph's dog <laughs> chewed it up. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. right. But, uh, I forgot the hat got fucked up. We got fucked up. Oh my god, I forgot my fucking. St- Stupid ex roommate chewed up my fucking sesh hat. Not her, but her dog. I forgot about that. I thought I had it in storage in one of these bins behind me here somewhere. Fuck. Well, yeah, it's 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 the whole like let my guard down, go into matchmaking, go into FFA, and literally get raped, jumping out of fucking P doing doing three sixties trying to argue the extra money on the bottom. You know, like poor man Dix has that thing where he goes in the sauna and that. He goes in there, mate. He, he just sit down with fucking no towel and that. These guys come up trying to suck his dick and that. It's like fucking big, big scared, man. He's scared, but he don't. He likes it, but he's scared because he don't want to fucking ruin his image. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. All right, big. There it is. He wears the hood and the hat, so nobody knows it's him. Oh, pointy hood though, is it? <laughs> yeah. God damn it, bro. <laughs> Goes into those truck stalls, huh? <laughs> those, those truck stalls. Probably a lot lizard, dude. Lot lizard. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, man. So, oh. let's get back to topic here. <laughs> We're going to fucking tangent every time. All right, from the update page. All right, so there's a few partnered teams. In terms of expansion, it's critical for us that we're taking good care of our launch partners rather than expanding the partnership program too quickly. We don't want to, in a matter of a year, expand from nine partners to dozens and forget about our launch partners. Oh, man. So we're currently targeting one to four new part- partners for the second wave in the partnership program. It's not a quota. However, there's not a maximum number of teams that we feel we need to hit. So... No new orgs are probably going to get partnered with HCS anytime soon. So even if we do have a lot more money coming into the tournaments for teams, uh, Microsoft is going to be very cutthroat about who they allow to be partnered and get the, the perks and whatnot from them. Not much left on that uh, that blog. It's all just more fucking fluff and bullshit. But I really wanted to go over the COVID protocols, uh, the general, what it's going to look like. I think they're still going to have um, issues in terms of the online qualifiers. Um, who We just had somebody like just getting caught using fucking wall hacks, and then, which was all over Twitter. And what do you guys what do you guys think about all that? You want to throw some input on that? I actually want to see the video because I haven't seen it yet, and I've heard all about it. Yeah, I, I mean, dude, he's I pre-aiming bad. I, I, I don't, I don't think he, he's cheating. I don't, I don't think you can say that from one video. Like, look at Flusher and CS:GO. He, he's had loads of fucking dodgy shit throughout the years, and a lot of it's like it is dodgy. But you can't just say one guy, he shot against a wall and he's aim happy. I, I think it's bullshit. I really do. You've so you've seen that clip of him hovering over the people as they're rotating to the left and then repositioning the clip themselves. That I, saw that I thought was dodgy was the one where he's what's that fucking map? Is it streets? And he's he, he's uh, on the right down low. It's the entrance on the bases, and there's pipes there. And he, in the clip, he's shooting, shooting. pre shooting while going into the pipes. <laughs> but to me, to me, if that's to me, like again. It's Halo 5 Fear. I don't fucking know if that's legit or not. Yeah, I mean, a lot of it to me is just watching... You can't judge anything off Halo 5 Fear. Yeah, this is... What I think is a lot of... Uh, is Was a telltale sign is just the general tracking of enemy players through the walls that are not in visibility through any mangle... Like, or excuse me, through any angle that's conceivable on that map. Headlock, 
like headlocks and tracking. Yeah, it's like, how can I do this? It'd be like, it'd be like, okay, good example. It'd be like if you're on Ascension and you're at Big Tower Snipe and you start pre-firing fucking um, Leap of Faith. Like it's just like it's just it just doesn't make sense. Like it's just like that well, angle well, I mean, is not something I mean, you prioritize I mean, off that. Like, I guess I mean I'd ha I'd have to view more of it to have a more educated opinion. But from what I saw, it, it wasn't enough for me to to condemn someone, oh, yeah. especially if it's like theater. I don't think that you can condemn someone from that. I mean, well, the theater the fucking the sucks. But I want to see this video, man. It's all over Twitter. Put, put it in a chat. Um, Give it to Goatman to stream on his fucking video. If it'll play, all right, let's see. Why am I always the fucking media bitch, man? <laughs> the media <laughs> bitch? Because our PCs <laughs> suck. Biggs oh, you're streaming, it. though, he's right now, it. huh? He's not even fucking talking. Yeah, Biggs. Biggs, you can do it. Hey. Well, my controller settings for goddamn half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> he's been sitting over there just waiting silently, man. I've been seeing his arm and his shoulder. He's got his chest that... That'd be nasty. He's got his chastity belt on, Goatman. <laughs> fucking go wants to see my shoulder. It's pretty gay. Go with me, dude. <laughs> hey, where have you been, man? You're not in the FFAs anymore. I'd love to hold those shoulders from behind. They look oh, real I'm soft. I play on your birthday, you fuck. <laughs> you know what? I, I was probably drunk. I don't you know. were drunk <laughs> off the fucking hizzy, bro. You, I, dude. You were ego child double shotting people while drunk. Like I can't. I cannot believe what I hear from you sometimes when you say that you can't do it when I'm watching you drunk do it like accurately. He's got my man racist again. Yeah, always. God, just can't stop that guy. <laughs> can't stop him, can you? Fucking hell. <laughs> um, it's the Pinochet. So yeah, if we could find that tournament, if you get Biggs, could you maybe? Do you have the capability to screen share the video if you can find it on Twitter? No idea. I could try. That'd be great. Fucking go, man. Fuck is my. You have a go, go, man. I'm gonna fucking knock you out. Don't fucking yeah, stream. Yeah, that'd be great. Okay, what did you come in on Sunday? What did you come in on Saturday? Yeah. Yeah. So beyond that, we have some updates <coughs> to Halo's uh, <coughs> microtransactions as well. They're lowering the prices on everything as well as making individual items for sale again. So there's going to be um, it's going to be an overhaul of the general layout of everything. I wanted to get Sean Dubs on the podcast today, but he is busy. Uh, he does a, a great video that he details out a little bit more, but I just want to skim over that part of it. If you guys are more interested in the changes, check out Sean Dubs' videos. He does a nice analysis on all of that. What but is, I've seen some of that stuff where they they what, what is that camera angle you're doing right there, Bob? What was that? What was that, uh, it, that POV? It's his, it's his big, it's sitting right on the top of his erect dong, looking no, I, at him. I put it there, just so, I don't know, I'm just okay, going to okay. get my charger. <laughs> I thought you were trying to give us a POV angle. Uh, I think they might run in, was that Latina ghetto gaggers with your sister, I'm not sure. <laughs> God sorry, damn. Go, man. Sorry, go, man. you asked for it. <laughs> so, we anyway, have a... Uh... Yeah, about that. that stuff is bullshit, man. Like, they've got all those cores and that. In Halo 2, Halo 3, and Halo 1, you could pick your armor, your secondary armor, your emblem. Now they make you do challenges. I've seen that shit on Twitter. Three same challenges for the same emblem, different colors. Yeah. So they're paying money for cores that are slightly different. Like, fuck, you know when women get, na get nail varnish? Yeah. <laughs> it's slightly different, but they pay like ultimate money for that. Mm -hmm. It's the same fucking thing. Yeah, people. A lot, a lot of it is just lore heads and like book readers and stuff that are hella into the, you know, the idea of that they I, I are know, their get, Spartan get, and I shit. Get, I get that, and I get that, but nobody could defend them charging twenty pounds or twenty dollars, whatever it is, for a slightly different shade of blue. It's nonsense. Yeah, it's pretty stupid. Nobody can. That 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 is, you know, when they said it was free to play, I think everybody in this call knew what that meant. Yep. It would be yeah. Like this. I didn't think it would be this bad in terms of free to play. Cause, Neither did I. Think it would be this bad. I, I mean, it, the game mechanics themselves are just so terrible um, for a free to play I game. It, I mean, I fuck. I'm playing it for. I like, know. why are we I'm downgrading this? Like, the standard should be Unreal Engine. I mean, that's what has most of the competitive scene or the Half Life engine. And like, like they put this out thinking like oh, we're just supposed to be like, oh, this is great. Like, this is cool. Like, no, dude. Like, what the fuck? 
What's their engine at the moment? Slip Slip space. Space, yeah. Yeah. it's a brand new engine it cost them like fucking so much out of their budget like i i don't did, know man did you guys play the um so you and goat man both have the new xbox did you guys play the campaign for example i have the new one he doesn't i have the older oh, xbox yeah, that i played cam- i played campaign on my old xbox did you play it on the new one i haven't played on the new one yet for campaign i'd like, to, I'd like you to play it just to see like yeah, if there's um I'm sure I'd get a way better frame rate because in, I was getting like 30 frames at best. Oh, frame, rates, frame rates are fucking bullshit. They should they should be at this level. Before I'm going to it, they should all be. I can play fucking Quake Three on my computer right now. It's an old ass computer. You get 100 frames per second. Yeah. Yeah. I the, gigs on Red Alert for fuck's sake. Command and conquer Red Alert. Fuck. That's the biggest thing. You gotta be you gotta wear a little Nazi uniform, huh? There's no fucking excuse. <laughs> Oh, you don't yeah. Nazi uniforms, go man. You fucking jerking off again. <laughs> What's going on? So I'm gonna take a. Uh, I'm gonna take a look here. It's hey, another. Man, I'm Mr. Muscles. Mr. Muscles. <laughs> so they're also talking about here. Uh, Big team battle yeah, so is still got, scuffed. His boyfriend's come first. He needs to get his sodium for the day. <laughs> he needs to. Uh, he needs to climb up that wall. Go, man. He needs to climb up the wall and get his salt licks in. <laughs> oh my god all right hold on uh so we got a halo infinite playlist and challenge it. update the first lick is always the saltiest <laughs> um four new social matchmaking playlists to halo infinite uh, as of eight hours ago uh, team slayer free for all swat and fiesta oh. Um, wow! No, no Whoa. ranked uh, free for all. No anything like that. It's really no new maps. maps. I can't wait Whoa. to reinstall. Yeah, right. No. Yeah. If only they had Rocket Race, dude. I would have pre-installed last night. Oh wow! If had Griff Ball, right? My penis would be. You, you would not want to know. Get the soy face shows. going. It'd just be, shows a Griff Ball playlist. Um, it'd be its full thing, which is half of that. So yeah. <laughs> all right. So uh, ranked and BTB no, matchmaking updates. Job. It's a fucking joke. And if you see it, Blake, if you see there, you know, there's been lots of people calling them out, even on, I don't like fucking Reddit people, but Reddit Halo were calling people them out. Why weren't these fucking playlists at launch? You say you launched the free thing early, right? Why are these not in there? There's no excuse. You've had five years. Because it's hard. Two, it's hard, okay? Yeah, Coding's hard. <laughs> Hard. It's hard. I need a two-week break. It's hard. <laughs> you got to take breaks to dial out the fucking things, you know, and some like that. But it's a fucking joke. There's no excuse. I'm sorry. And the figureheads, uh, sorry, not the figureheads, the community managers like uh, uh, Unishek and, and that. I mean, they, I mean, you know, I, I don't, know, I don't dislike them, but they deserve every um, bad thing that. Happens <laughs> to you dislike them though. They're just they're just speech figureheads, man. They're not actually doing the coding. That's who I blame. I wouldn't say I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say no. Don't shoot them. <laughs> I don't like. I don't dislike them. I don't. He just can't find a fuck to give. He reached uh, no, in his pockets. He was like, man, I thought I had one here. Nah, I don't. All these fucking dickheads saying, hey, look, I, I think uh, influence uh, core. I think actually everyone in this chat, even if you uh, resent saying it, could say at uh, its core, Infinite could be a great game. But I think that, you know, they've fucked it again. The 343 do. I'm not focusing on the actual core of the game, but focusing on other things that they're making money from. Mm-hmm. So I'm not going to play the game when you've got these cunts fucking running it. No. Yeah, no, I, I agree. They're pro players with a fuck ton of money. <laughs> yeah, but you, you they they must do. Well it's like these dickheads. Yeah, sorry, it's sorry. like it's like all these modern uh Halo games. Every time they come out with a new Halo title now, they throw a bunch of money at it for tournaments to like you know, to, to fish people in to get them on the hook, thinking that that's what's gonna make them like the game. That's not why people like the game. And the thing is is once the exactly. once the tournaments stop once the tournament stop, the pros leave. When the pros leave, everyone loses interest, the population dies. Well, it's not even about it's not even the pros go man it's the fact that when you've got people who are on a casual, level, yeah. a casual level who are bored of it 
I mean, yeah. to me, Yo, that's, that's the we got a comment from the chat here. Hello, hello, everyone. It's Martyr. Bo is a bit quiet. I can turn him up. Old school Halos will never be topped ever. Bonnie yeah, Ross spending too much time with Bo. XD. <laughs> Goatman was cussing me out. What did he say, Blake? Sorry. <laughs> it's, um, uh, we got somebody from the chat saying that Bonnie Ross is getting nothing done because she's spending all of her time with you getting getting pounded. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And Goatman's there, and I'm, well, while I'm banging her, she, she's signing um, posters for Goatman. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. You can just wait for the, uh, for the stream sometime. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, let's see yeah, what else. Man goes in with his fucking GoPro, his AK. So here's a Royal 2's impact yeah. on the playlist update. Check this out. We've adjusted the ranked matchmaking rules to increase the priority of close individual skill matches, particularly for players at higher skill levels. We're taking this in stages. The first priority took place on December 11th, and the second one took today. <laughs> we adjusted the matchmaking rules to prioritize making matches with lower latency. Sure. This will mainly help players in low population regions avoid high latency matches. Yeah, but when the net... Okay, comment on this right now. Just because they fix... Ask you, like, what? I want to ask you and Goatman this, because you guys are more competitive than me. So, um, Infinite uses... What, what is it? It's basically the ELO system, isn't it? But it's like, uh, you know, bronze, onyx, yeah. whatever, that sort of thing. Yeah. Why, why are they using that instead of the Halo 2 and 3? Them. Because it's because that's what China wants. To you, honestly, that's what China wants. They want they want things similar to their games like Valorant. And they want similar like they want their ranking systems and their ideas to be the forefront of esports, and that's why. If you want me to be completely Halo, frank, has Halo broke into the Chinese market? That makes sense actually. You saying that? Yeah, like dude, Microsoft directly works with China. Google directly works with China. They're the ones in charge of the spyware. All that like makes, all that, that shit. Makes a all that shit. Sense. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like it, this this all comes down to Chinese influence yeah. in esports, and like even though they're not innovators and they just well, copy and paste games. Game was at 1980 fucking nine, Tiananmen Square massacre or whatever the fuck it is. Uh, uh yeah dude i've seen no, some of the fucking with, gore with those, video uh the gore ranks, pictures from that oh my god it's nutty uh with those infinite ranks like or do those get reset like every week or every season or what's the fucking know? point then what's the point um no they're, they're they're consistent um but the issue that i have with it is that like it's it's it. not based on wins. That's the biggest issue to me is that it's not based on wins. Like when you play and when you played back in the day, like when you became a champ, guess what? It was game of five. It wasn't fucking who had most accuracy over five games. It wasn't who had the most assists. No, it's who got the most fucking wins. That's what determines a yeah. champion. And now we have a ranking system that doesn't even reflect that as the axiom. To me, oh, that's yeah, just yeah, a fucking, what, what that's some comedy shit. What if you're playing on a team competitively and you're not the main slayer? Does that mean you get less skill? You're less exactly. you're, you're, Does Elamite you're, Warrior, you're, because he wasn't sniped down, not a champ? Is that what we're yeah, going to start? You can be o OBJ guy. Also, yeah. you've got three flag caps and sanctuary flag. Oh, what's that? You got two kills. He, oh, you're fucking shit. He timed the like he timed the spawns and the pull and everything perfect to hit a green box jump on pit. You're gonna tell me that guy's not fucking with it in the head? Come on. Yeah. I don't. Yeah, that's yeah, some yeah, bullshit. I, I, you know, like that, that makes so much fucking sense actually, because like in Halo Five and you know. It, it, Look at the COVID the protocols thing. for these events, man. This is all Chinese propaganda, straight up. I'll say so it. Do you think that because uh, what you're saying right now, I never thought about it before with the infinite stuff. Why would they, you know, the Elo matchmaking? But why would they shy away from that? Why would they shy away from the one to fifty ranks for the Elo? Well, well, that was invented by Bungie. Technically, the the first ever matchmaking yeah. system for all online gaming was for Halo Two. It was rolled out on yeah, Xbox yeah, Live know, servers, yeah. and it was it was based off of wins, and the matchmaking kept you within ten levels of what your level was, which was in the opinion of most people, because like what people don't understand now, they're like, oh, cheaters here, cheaters here, and my fucking ranking system. It's like, it doesn't like it doesn't matter if you lose though. So it doesn't matter about the fucking cheater, like at the end of the day. At the end, like back well, when back, we- back then, back, then, back then it did, I remember fucking being level 16 before the fucking patch. Yep. I got standby yeah. down to 50 and I fucking- <laughs> Oh yeah, Ooh, that, that wasn't a toilet. losing the game losing. back then with cheaters meant something. These cheaters nowadays, yeah. like these people don't understand what it's like. Like your ranking system is a fucking joke compared to what we had to grind and go through, especially pre-patch Halo. What, 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 why, like I, I can see what, why you say the, um, the you know, the, them 
you know, getting their tentacles in. But right. why? Why would they go away? Because from that's, that's the power and money of future media, bro. Like, the legacy TV, all this other shit's out the window. What is the future? Like, do you, it's, do you think it's because... It's I mean, esports. If I, had to bet, if I had to guess, get rid of the 150 to the ELO ranking, the, the, the plasma, etc., it's because it's part of the whole... Um, People play more. Uh, it's more addicting. Part of the oh, formula. It, it, it's, it's every, every for the general population, playing. not just the, like. Everybody gets metal. I think because everybody gets metal playing with that. You know, one to fifty. If you were level ten, for example, you knew you were shit. You were stuck there. You're fucked. Yeah. You either get better or you fuck off. Yeah, but now it's like, oh, oh okay, here you can be gold four. You can be no, fucking platinum. There. Ooh. Well, they stay around on the game to maybe go on the micro transaction stuff. Yeah, exactly. It keeps them playing. They they took the like the problem with one to fifty is that it keeps people like us addicted. Like we'll grind that shit fucking six eight hours a day to get to that higher rank. But people that know their shit, they don't care, and then they're they're gonna go play custom zombies and stuff, and then they're gonna get off and go play Counter Strike. But with the the ELO system, it gives them like a sense of like, oh wow, like I'm, you know, they they did a they did a graph of where people test in. Um, coming up for a one shot one kill. Mm -hmm. It's big and banging. It gives you. You know, dopamine sensitive. faster yeah 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 exactly. so it, but it only does it it doesn't do it for like really good players like unless they're getting paid obviously like money but um you, you'll notice most of the hardcore like old heads are you know they they're not they're not Both scrambling to, to come back to fucking win at halo so so to me it's like yeah there's yeah. there's influence in esports from china there's there's a lot of different things that are that are adding factors to the ranking system i have system. noticed something interesting about halo infinite and that is i still have a lot of close friends of mine who that play it like pretty religiously as if like that's same meta, and that's and that's fine with it. that's fun different strokes for different folks I right won't, i won't like chastise them for doing that but one thing i've noticed is a lot of times when people talk to me about halo infinite they talk about oh guess what I'm, I'm Onyx, or I'm, I'm Diamond Four, or, or whatever. But they, yeah. they talk about um, the destination and not the journey. Mm -hmm. Like, as in, if you deal with Halo Two players, we don't talk about what rank we are. We don't care. You'll see people playing on their fifties, lose it, get it back. They don't give a fuck. Mm -hmm. They talk about the moment. They talk about the process. They talk about a sick play they made, or this moment that happened. And I'm not getting any of that. Type a of new angle, you know, something yeah, like that. Like, they talk about some new like. You know, thing they figured out about the game, and in Infinite, I'm not getting that. All I'm getting is, oh, I'm I'm Onyx, or check out my armor. And it's like, okay, mm -hmm. but what about the game? Like, what about the gameplay? What yeah, what hap What what sick gameplay are you gonna show me? What's gonna like make me want to blow a whole fucking load on my <laughs> streaming jeans? Like, 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 what? What are you gonna show me that's gonna like make me go? <laughs> you know, wow. You know, like yeah. you. Yeah. You're gonna show me your fucking phase skin and your fucking <laughs> and your and your onyx rank. Like nobody gives a fuck about that shit. You yeah. Know? yeah, yeah. It's. I mean, you remember, like, see, if you saw like oh. fucking high level Halo two, you see someone with like a moon for the first time, for example. Yeah. Level forty four crescent moon. You'd be like, what the fuck is that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You'd be like, you'd be terrified. Even Halo. even like high thirties and shit back in the day, man. Like yeah. like yeah. like that color of the rank itself. You're just like, yeah. whoa. Yeah. You shit yourself. You you, you know that I've cheat on that fucking godlike. Mm -hmm. I keep talking. I'm gonna go for a piss real quick. Yeah, yeah. Um, when it comes to the the uh, the ranking system of infinite, I'm noticing a lot of parallels. Oh to unfortunately uh halo 5 and what i mean by that is it's just a complete fucking time sink it's just games played like with like of course like games played is going to give you improvement and the way that they're it, doing it, it makes you feel like you're really, actually improving found, in a grand scheme when like everybody's yeah. onyx though you know they found a way to keep you on the hamster wheel dang dangling the carrot mm -hmm. long enough to start making money off of you and almost like yeah. Have you on like a feeding tube? Yeah. You know, like you know, it's 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 it's, it's not about it's not about greatness. It's about um, what happened. What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, when you attend something, just showing up. What is the word I'm thinking of? Just participation. Participation. Yes. It's not about greatness. It's, it's about participation. You get rewarded for participation. Where just because you show up to Halo CE or Halo Two or Halo Three. That's not enough, you know. Like just showing up is not enough to get rewarded. Yeah. You know, and I remember when it slowly started happening. I don't know if you guys remember this, but I'm sure you guys do. What am I saying? You guys are fucking OGs. Um, it all started in Halo Three. 
it has started because in Halo Three they had that fifty wrenching system, right? Yeah. But what? But what came? Do you remember what happened? They had the fifty wrenching system, and then they implemented a the new social rank system. that was on top of that. The it was an experience. Rank. Yeah, there was an experience like, rank and a, and a real rank. Yeah, and remember that's how you get your four star or five star general. You could it check people's ranks rank. by preloading the lobby of the ranked playlist too. It's like, oh, you have a fifty kid. Let's see, and then you go over and it's like. They, they have like a 35. You're like, oh, fuck you, liar. Like, <laughs> yeah, but they started this participation shit in Halo 3. There was two ranks. Yeah, yeah, it was silver. It wasn't a full rank, like the number. It was um, yeah. It was like all the, it was like, you could get it per playlist too. There was um, like in social big team, for instance, like if you played like a thousand games, you'd be a colonel. And like, if you played like something like 3,000, 5,000 games, you would have the general rank. But it wasn't like, it wasn't a numerical. It was total experience based, just yeah. game based, really, and wins. Um, but if you had, like, I used to know this guy named King Bio Cody, one of the best players I've ever, one of the nicest guys I've ever met too. Back in the day, really took me under his wing for a lot of things in terms of teaching me esports. But he had a fifty-five star general in the MLG playlist. I mean, this guy lived and breathed it, man. He was all about it, and. Mm -hmm. That to me was the only experience rank that I thought was impressive because it was playlist based. So the MLG playlist to me is like, holy fuck, you got a five star 50? Like, god damn, bro. Like, had some yeah, fucking yeah. time, like, at yeah, a good you've caliber. Seen some, you've seen some wars. That's a, yeah, that's a real rank right there. Like, that's the proper way to do it if you're going to have an experience rank. But then they went into Reach, in which there was no fucking numerical rank and it was pure experience based. Oh, do you have Inheritor? No, yeah, because what they, that's what they do is it's inch by inch. They, they ease it in. Yep. They ease it in inch by inch. Just Next thing you know, you're right. balls deep and you're like, oh, see, it wasn't that bad, was it? Halo you 4, know? Halo 5, I'm Halo just gonna, Infinite. I'm just going to inch this into you and next thing you know, you're going to be like, oh, it's not so bad. And you're going to be like, yeah, it's not so bad. And then you, you got know, a full cock up your ass, kid. Yeah, you got a full fucking cock up your ass. And you're like, how do we get here? Right? <laughs> Because it's like, oh, oh, we'll have your, we'll have your fifty rank, we'll have your skill rank, and then but we're gonna do some, we'll have this on the side, and then the next game comes out and it's, well, it's just this, and then the next game comes out and we're like, well, now it's this, and you're like, and next thing you know, it's free to play, and you're buying fucking face skins, and you're, and you and, 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 and everything looks like Fortnite and fucking anime. Yeah, you know, you know what, you know what, my favorite was, fucking Halo CE. You know why? Because there was no fucking ranks, but there was a pecking order. Yeah. Everybody know. Everybody knew where they stood just when you walked around and looked in a room. Yeah. Like, okay, that's the top guy. That's that's runner up. You know, these guys are good, and those guys are fucking peasants. I was you know saying, being Halo through though, but going my back in the day, remember you'll 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 see people in match ranking with certain names. Yeah. Like, it was actually literally. I remember fucking seeing people fucking that I knew were good. Before I was actually really good. Yeah. And they like they. They demoralize you before you even fucking start the game. Yeah. Yeah. You're like, oh, it's these people. You Whoa, know? that and happened. That happened with Goat. With uh, what's his name? Was it Elamite on stream the other day? And he was, he was all like, Goat Manjaro, huh? That's a scary name. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was on yeah, Elongation yeah. or something. Yeah. Uh, the, the, the pros, the pro guys, they know me. They're all OGs. They that's how like that's how we react in lobbies. We don't look at the rent. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like that's a good. That was like a good example. You know. Yeah, I'm that I'm that online warrior, you know. So, I'm that uh, I'm that that basketball player that never went to the NBA who's still in in, in Harlem playing uh, hoop. So, ended up on TikTok <laughs> like hustling people. <laughs> you gotta get goat on TikTok. Could you imagine? Guys, we talking about anyway. Goat would blow up on TikTok with that hair. Yeah, Easy cool. views. Yeah, man, you're jerking off. <laughs> He's just, I was like, what are you doing, bro? It's in the back of my leg. I mean, it's basically the same thing. Yeah, oh, yeah, all right, mate, yeah. It's the same thing. Yeah. Uh, tell, tell that to the judge, mate. Yeah, tell that to the judge. 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 Oh, my God. All right, what's the next topic here? One second. Okay, so I actually have um, I have the charts here for um, here. I'm gonna I'm gonna full screen my thing. Chat questions. Chat questions. Oh, I don't think there is any. Let me see. I got. Oh, here we go. It just says 
I got 18 people in my chest. Uh, the the only one that I got is the full 343 cactus cock, huh? God damn. All right. That's all I got that's new. All right. Hey, uh, chat. Chat, if you guys got a QA, hit us with some questions. By the way, stream, I'm going to show you the dis uh, the distribution of ranks. You got anybody have uh, questions for anybody? Oh, for, I thought you had a distribution of something else, then. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you... What is this? Is that your penis size over the years? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I keep old curve. And don't worry, my phone screen's not cracked. That's my screen cover. My phone what's screen your, is fine. What's your um, home screen? Every show that home screens. Okay. Yeah. Show home screen. I just fucking always got this in the way. That's black screen, bro. Yeah, man. Who's that? That's yeah, uh, that's Bo. It's Bo. It's a background of Bo naked. Um, mine is a uh, tomb in a graveyard by my house. Oh, I'm nice. Dude, I got to take you to some graveyards out here when we visit. I got some cool yeah, ones. Yeah, uh, I sound like such a fucking edge lord saying that, but yeah, me and my friends hang out in this graveyard. I smoke blunts in graveyards, Bo. Sesh, let's go. <laughs> I take girls there. I took uh, Miss Jewel there. I took my girlfriend there. <laughs> Sorry. There's this Masonic Dude, graveyard I, up in the fucking Placerville Hills that's like hella old school, 1800s and shit. It's like Freemason graves uh, everywhere. He, he takes me there to do their uh, maths times tables. <laughs> <laughs> My God. I teach him English there. <laughs> you teach in English? You crazy? You know, I was trying to make Bo spit his fucking beer, but it didn't work. I was a late. Most anyway, people, are, yeah. I, was I, I take him to the graveyard and I teach him English. I thought he was gonna go fucking spit out his fucking in there. <laughs> what is the waste beer, dude? Yeah. I never let waste beer ever come to one. No. Come on, where are these chat questions? All right, hold up. Yeah, where are the chat questions at? Let's see what we got. Uh, yeah, somebody got says, Keys, Keys OD says, uh, when's Death Machine 4? The final, final, final montage <laughs> them without. <laughs> yeah, that's that's why I moved to America and get guns. <laughs> it's real. It's all real. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, dude, you need to move out here, bro. You would be so like, dude, we'd have so much fun at the range. Oh my god, I can I imagine would, yeah, you. I can, uh... <laughs> any, any other questions? Any other questions? Questions? Come on, guys, we're keeping coming. How about you, eh? What? What do we got? Oh, let me, I just checked my chat. I'll double check. Uh, here we go. Would you guys ever be interested in taking people under your wing for people who want to Taj at a high level? See, this is what I'm talking about. So, yeah. like, we can't have, like, here's here's what we were, here, let's go into the Zodiac thing now since we talked about the other topics. But um, I'll answer your question in just a second because it's related to this. But we need clip submissions to Bo for the Zodiac Clan promo video. So we're gonna Disco, do man. We need you to send your clips. Um, it doesn't have to just be Halo, but it has to be good shit. Like it has to be something high level, something out of the ordinary, something that gets people's heads twisted. So be sure to join our Discord. I'll put the Discord link in my chat right now. And we will continue with the topic one sec here are we putting a cap on how many people can be in zodiac or is it going to be kind of like the bigger the better community is it going to be kind of like a like a discord kind of community or is it going to be more like we'll a start right? we'll start small with content creators like official content creators and then we'll we'll grow as need be the you know you don't want to grow too fast that's what like it's like a really big problem but uh, you'll notice a lot of people in here like Possum and fucking we, Fatal. Are going to do like an official like Zodiac, uh, like a YouTube channel where we, you, you know how like single Halo clips are like F.E. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Why? Yeah. What, what if you am waiting for fucking clips, you dickhead? Oh, I'm just, I'm just saying. Like, just yeah, we could absolutely do that. We could specialize in higher end um, clips. 
I'll tell you what, the best one is uh, Goat Man got a Lego, alternate Lego channel. <laughs> got subscribers, so we just change that to Zodiac one, man. Yeah. <laughs> you got a Lego channel, bud? Have you not seen that? No. Death Star, the Starship Enterprise, all that shit, man. You got the yeah. Halo 4 Lego BR, like, uh, like made it. <laughs> I built that that VR for him. You use him, you mail it to him. <laughs> He's full of shit. <laughs> I know. I'm fucking I'm serious. Come on, come on, crazy man. Honestly. I thought, uh, you know, <laughs> I've got a whole neon wall um, of of uh, mega constructs children's toys in my room. It's right here. It's what? right here. <laughs> That's all about that. That's all about that. You know, He's kidding. That's a loaded fucking topic. Right <laughs> you give me that fucking plane ticket, what, Blake? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta buy this plane ticket. Hey, what's the airport? Sacramento? Yeah, Sacramento International. Okay. Oh. No, you know with Sacramento. It's where it, yo, it's yo. You might not want. You might want to make sure that everybody knows you're a dude because like it's one of the most trafficked like airports in the world. Like people get kidnapped at. What do you mean? I don't look like a dude. Well, the, I'm just saying the hair from the back, man. Someone like it's a it's a dangerous place. Go man got a fat ass like a Brazilian as well. Man. But but you don't. <laughs> you walk like a you, you know women you know prostitutes in GTA. Yeah yeah GTA yeah. yeah. You walk like that. Damn. They call me Blake the Cake, but I mean I might have to pass this slice along, man. Like damn. Shit. All right. So we got um we need clip submissions from everybody. We need it to be good shit. If you want I I mean I don't know if everybody else I mean I'll, I'll obviously do school if you want to come through to my stream and learn about the basics of just FPSs in general. I'll gladly teach anybody that's new to games. Um I don't know if Zodiac as that is going to be doing it um in terms of doing super new players but I mean, we could offer some advice, I'm sure, in the forums and in the in the Discord to people that have questions. If people are legitimate and respectful, then I always have time for people like that. I want the best of themselves. Yeah, yeah. I always have time for people like that, especially when they want to learn how to make montages. Always. Yeah. That's, that's one of the only times when I won't be a dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> now, I don't know if the goat man's going to share his secrets, though. I mean, there's... Uh... Yeah, you're not good uh, enough to uh, handle it, Cad. I'm gonna be the asshole. You gotta, you gotta pay to play with me. You gotta subscribe and uh, take a ticket. I'm a headset. First take off, get in line for the FFA. Get in line for the FFA. Yeah, you want to get good? Like, come I'm to like, the Goatman FFA. I'm like, I'm like the, uh, I'm like the the most popular ride in Disneyland. There's always like a line. <laughs> you gotta be this tall to play. You gotta be this big to play. Right, big. Good man. The rise, the rise of Islam have a fucking weight limit. You don't move, women. It's gotta be. You gotta be this tall and under. <laughs> you have to be this this age and under. This age and <laughs> under. You have to. You have to be a baby. Oh my go god. Man. Sickos. Good man likes that. Good man likes that. It's not me. It's not me, he says. <laughs> but yeah, well, you know, if you guys, like, please join the Discord. Um, we got a lot of people that are really good content creators outside of the clan, too, that have established themselves that are in there. Um, so it's a cool place to network, cool place to meet people, good place to come get your ass kicked by going on midship. It's uh, There's a lot in store for you. But mostly, we want to we wanna be open just, to, like... We need some good ass clips for this promo video. So if you want to help get in the clan, that's how we're gonna run it for now. But uh, beyond that, um, I think that if it's cool with you guys, I'd like to put the team name on the tournament for the FFA as one of um, as a sponsor. I'll put some money down on the on the prize pool if we can uh, promote it through that, that live stream too. Here? What's up? For the twenty third? Uh, at, at the at the land center? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm okay. thinking I think we if we uh if I throw like fifty bucks for an FFA there, um when we stream it, it can be, you know, fucking fire up Halo presents the team Zodiac or Clan Zodiac fucking FFA tournament. And then 
after that one, I could somehow get the capture card set up with the classic Xboxes and throw a fucking tour to Walsh in there too. So, so are you trying to do this kind of like as a, as a, as are we sponsoring a player or is it we're sponsoring the whole event? Yeah. Just like, I'll just, th I'll just throw the, you guys don't have to do anything. I'll throw 50 bucks and just, since I'm hosting it, like I wanted, I wanted to use this as a marketing opportunity for us too to like okay. use this content yeah. creation to promote what we do as an org, like what, like the the fruits of our labor and creation and the things that they create, whether it be montaging, whether it be active matchmaking like Goat does, whether it be tournament organization. Well, we're all in this plan together. I know how how I'd answer it, but let me ask Goat Man. Okay. Okay. Ask What's up? I say, if somebody asks you, why, why is the clan called Zodiac? How would you answer it? I think, well, because we never really discussed um, what the meaning was yet. And I, I'll, I'll just say what the meaning means to me. And what the meaning means to me is that we all come from different walks of life. So just like a Zodiac has 12 symbols, um, you can think of it as 12 different styles or we know we know know it's not, we know it's not about the zodiac symbols we know it's not <laughs> hey i'm trying to keep this thing uh i can i can defend syracuse really well but i want to see what you guys can do all right well, gonna, i'll tell mine when, when goat's done this. like like it's important somebody's gonna ask you this as well okay okay go ahead, go ahead. No, no, just, what, like oh, like how do you respond to that if someone said oh, it's called zodiac well, at the end of the day, to get to this caliber of gameplay and to get to this understanding, you have to be a killer. And I think that the Zodiac resonates with all of us in a, in a way in terms of... That's exactly what I was going to say, that it's all in us. Yeah. You have to apply yourself to get to that level. Yeah, and it's, 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 a, it's a literal killing mentality. You have to go primal. You have to dig deep. It, it goes into the... the the absolute like what we're doing in this virtual battlefield is it, is Blake murder the social and we're the masters of it like yeah. we're, we're literally well, the I masters was, of I'm murder is I'm what we're getting at. well i know i'm on stream too this is this but this is yeah. this is the meaning of it we are in the virtual oh, battlefield we are virtual no, fucking killing machines we are spartans we are fucking we are you know gears of war people that chop people up with chainsaws with no mercy man you know like this so is saying, yeah basically you're saying it's primal to get to this level you gotta be a killer you got to be a killer in game, man. You got to take that. You got to take that. Like humans innately have war in them. Species. Any fucking punk wants to talk about the circle of life. Read Origin of Species. It's telling that the strong do not survive. Mm -hmm. And it's it's uh, to us, at least to me, it's a uh, it's a primal understanding of of mastery of dominance of mastery of of self-sustaining at the end of it too is, well, look what Zodiac did. He, he manipulated the, the whole fucking um state out of fear i mean even if it's a negative thing what he did it was a mastery of control wasn't it yeah oh uh, yeah it's absolutely it's 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 we the things that we do in game resonate like in the real world how he does i firmly i firmly believe that i think we strike fear into the hearts of people when they see our names in matchmaking i think you know when they say kill when they see kill feeds of us we leave impact and we want to be a place where people that make that impact can come together to to have what a voice in a world of postmodern uh, gaming we all need to, to invent and i think you know uh, an next time that if you need to do something i mean i'm not suggesting violence but i mean if anybody in here has got things that people talk shit about yeah i mean go to the event and kick the shit out of them so you make a name for yourself that way. You've got, you know, members in this thing anyway who are sustained and have been here for a long time. But if you want to live up to the name as Zodiac, then you got to fucking do something about it. You know what I mean? Mm. Well, it's just none of us here take shit. I know that. <laughs> stream, but yeah. A lot of a lot of this that drama part. that you see on online, if it happens in real life, it's usually just two fucking dudes just yelling at each other and then. You know, rolling on the ground if they do fight, not yeah, even I knowing how to do shit. Yeah, I don't think chat is is like that at all. No, I'd, I'd I'd happily get in a street fight with any of you, and I know you'd have my back. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm we a bar fighter, we scrap. I definitely know that any of you have my back. Mm -hmm. But it's it's more than that too. It's just like we're gonna bring what I what you know, with the deadliness and everything that comes with it. Like sportsmanship is always to me like. A number one thing like i'll never dish out 
toxicity at people that haven't initiated it first. You know, I'll never like you don't see me like jokingly. Yeah, like I'll be in there like fucking around like doing. I can't say I'm the same. I can't say I'm the same. Oh, well, okay. All right. Well, that's that's just me personally. I'm a bit of a prick sometimes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if like, you know, in the terms of the battlefield, I mean, I'm always respectful to the opponent unless they say something first. Usually, you know, I'm never. I'm never gonna lash out oh, at I, someone. I ain't gonna lie. Go, go like man, that. fucking big snobby. Goatman never knows a skin. Fucking, he's got fucking attacking people for no fucking reason. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. 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 Believe it or not, Bo used to tell me when my hair was buzz shut. Yeah. Yeah. Sure, right there. Yeah, my hair looked like your hair. Yeah. When you first met me. Hell yeah. Now it's a long time. He was fucking. Yeah, Goatman, you didn't even know it was a skin. I had all the fucking braces, fucking all that shit. I'm sure. Yeah. 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 The fucking suspenders or whatever the fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I ain't nothing to prove. Like I said, like, I think, like, you know, I've got nothing to prove, but at the same time, like, I think if we have the name Zoe, you've got to defend it in a way. I mean, is it, is it going to be an organization where it's it's high impact? I mean, for me, I'd, I'd be happy to co- follow that, but to me, I'd, I, I, I'm really excited actually if people want to learn. Um, like the person I said, you know, uh, would you teach this and that? Because I'd be really happy to do that. Because it's not easy to make a montage, actually, uh, you know, or video, whatever it is, that, um, you know, that actually, you know, resonates with people. It takes a long time of failing to get to a point where there's something that's of some sort of standards, you know? Yo, I got some chat I want to catch up on here, too. Let's see. Someone's asking to post the yeah. Discord. Just did. Um not played Halo in a long time, been grinding for about a week, got a weird glitch, melee splatter, double kill, lock, okay. Um, Bo loves serial killers, yes. Uh, <laughs> where were you on 9-11, 2001, of course. Uh, uh, I, I, came up, uh, I came up from school and I, I remember we came in, my parents were watching it on the news. I thought, oh, what? I remember saying, what film is this? Because they, <laughs> they were showing the um, second plane going back into the tower. Yeah. And, you know, you know. I tell you what, that's one thing that you know. I'm a fucking. Uh, I can watch a lot, a lot of things. One thing that always gets me is that if you watch the uh, Falling Man, so that one guy who was falling and they tried to identify who it was. You know how sad is that? that these people have to fucking jump to their deaths. You know that's one thing that I, you know, it's to me that I always found very sad. And you know, a lot of the apologists from the Islamic side said, "Well, that happens in our country all the time." Well, no, it didn't. You know, if I go into a toilet, I expect there to be. Sh- I expect there to be shit. If I go into a kitchen counter, I don't expect that there. <laughs> it's uh. <laughs> you know, it's all, it's always haunted me. I always we know why. Okay, we we know, we know we know why we're over there. But the point is, is that um, yeah. No, I get what you're saying. Yeah. You know, there are those two people. There's a picture, famous picture. There's two people leaping from the um, one of the towers, holding hands. They were they were so scared to go to their death that they had to be together, you know. And uh, you know, I, I can watch anything, you know. But the, you know, some of those things are nine eleven. Always, I don't know why, I always fucked my head a little bit. I don't know why. I remember I was in school and we turned on the TV, and then right when we turned on the TV, the second airplane just goes boom, and it just fucking hit mm. the fucking like I took a lot of stuff. I woke up. My mom woke me up. I went. I didn't even get brought to school. What are you going to say yeah, about Tar ninety three? My dad was driving one fucking plane, and the second plane hit. It hit the Pentagon. Um, the Pentagon Building. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think it was a plane. I don't think it was a plane. I don't think it was a fucking cruise missile. My, my dad was right by. He saw, saw the explosion went off, and he was driving like right by the uh, the highway. That plane didn't hit the Pentagon. There's no fucking way. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the the only the only video they've released is a six frame thing where you can't see a fucking plane. It's well, bullshit. yeah, he he never said he saw a plane, but he said. But he that's saw what the news said. That's what the news said. But but, but the yeah. facts say otherwise. You know, it's it's um, yeah. same the flight ninety three in um was it Pennsylvania, went down. You know, it's, it's a pile it's, of scrap. It's very yeah, it's very odd. It's a yeah, pile of scrap. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucking a. My chat is super quiet. I'll say why. Um, it is. 
Alright, let's see fucking here. Tell the fucking answer, for fuck's sake. Alright, I need a question, chat. Hit us with a question. They said, uh... Having to choose between burning to death or jumping to your death is truly sad. What they must have endured haunts me every day, boo. Uh, yeah, definitely, yeah. Ziddy I mean, says, Ada or Hanjor, who is the better terrorist? Who? Are you talking about Halo or terrorists and the terrorist threats? Like, what the fuck is going on here? The, the, the only, the only um, bomb more I can remember <laughs> Terrorists and serial killers? Not, 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 I, can't, I can't remember most I don't know their names that well, there. personally. I'm a death of them. Well, they're all fucking mugs, aren't they? So... They're all CIA yeah. assets. Oh, go, man. You know I'm fucking honest, man. Go fuck. I know. What else? What else, boys? I've gone over all my topics. We're waiting for fucking chat to fucking ask some questions. Man. Oh, yeah. Wait, I got a question for you. Yeah. What do you think about ETS? Oh, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not yes, finding lethal and Royal One for their tweets that are def or defamatory to HCS. Oh, yeah, fines. Oh, bro, welcome to the Call of Duty world. If you guys aren't familiar with esports, fines when talking back to the organization. Oh, yeah, man. They're, that's that's just the beginning. They're going to they're gonna hike those numbers up as it becomes more frequent, too, because some people are going to be able to take that hit, you know, especially if, like, teams start hiring big streamers that already make big money. Like, a $1,000 hit's nothing for them, like, from the engagement and shit and marketing that they'll get from that. So, like, they'll have to increase the fines. It's going to be a big mess. That's that's my call that I see is going to happen is from what happens in COD is my prediction on that. But, yeah, fuck that. Like, fuck fines. Fuck all that. <laughs> Let players talk shit. Like, how is the like Call of Duty League doing away with that Vanguard? Because that game looked like absolute shit. It's ass, dude. I fucking hate it. But um, my buddy, Riot Shield Rat, he actually uh, he's been playing with Fred fucking Durst from Limp Bizkit. <laughs> like they, he, he fucking oh, like, like yeah, met the real <laughs> dude and was like actually <laughs> running games with him. Anything, Holy Durst fuck! Like a fucking like seventy year old man. Dude, dude, they put on the new. Uh, there's a new Limp Bizkit album out, and like. I remember him doing the um, one of the Undertaker's themes from uh, yeah. WWF. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rolling, I remember. Yeah, yeah, I was like, yeah. When he was, he used to be. That's before. Uh, Some good that times. Stage where he wasn't a dead man, was he? He was the um, American the Badass. Yeah. Was yeah. <laughs> always just like Cactus Jack was my fucking hero, Mick Foley. Yeah. He's fucking love him. Bro, you love Dude Love. But I like Cactus Jack. He had those alter egos, didn't they? There's Dude Love, which was the funny one. Yeah. And Mankind was like the Mankind had mask. One. And Cactus Jack was like the fucking lunatic. Like he had the Socko. I was always a uh, Randy Savage guy. I always thought he was the best. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You know, I love Stone Cold myself. So. Yeah, Stone Cold. Girl. When he came through and, like, busted 50 stunners out on WCW. Woo. Dude, Ogre 2 pulled up at that BTB event like Stone Cold did in that truck, bro. I was like, what the fuck? What year is this? <laughs> I wish. I wish. If Ogre 2, like, came out, like, that one dude came out with Golden Boy at the beginning and, like, you know, got in Golden Boy's face and shit, that would have been fucking hilarious. Well, what happened? Oh, you haven't seen that? Oh, bro. So. What is it? They did this thing called the BTB Bonanza. They brought out a bunch of um, old school Halo pros. They got Walshy out. They got Ogre 2 out. Um, they got Golden Boy out. Like, just a bunch of people. And then, like, they grabbed a bunch of grassroots partners that were content creators for Halo. And they made them all fight each other. Dude, it was... None, none of us, said. It was ten times as entertaining as the fucking main event of HCS. I swear to God. They put on this whole production show... Golden Boy came out with a big fucking WWF golden belt that says BTB champ on it and is like getting in Walshy's face and shit. Bro, it was it was some of the funniest shit I've seen in a long time. And like Ogre 2 comes out and fucking uh, Golden Boy calls him on the roster and he's like, actually, I'm going to go over here and like fucking Ogre 2 and Walshy were teaming together again. Like, I haven't seen that shit in fucking forever. Like, that going boy, he's all right. I don't mind him. He's all right. Yeah, they're, they're great commentators and shit, man. But like the event itself, uh, fucking real life Spartan came out and like it was this big team between like, um, like Dan Rue, if you know him from you know Exotica's friends and shit. But uh, oh, yeah, some of our H two boys were on the main stage playing in that BTB bonanza. 
Probably gonna have to sit a cigarette in a minute. Oh. Let's see what else. Fuck, gonna... I can't touch my fucking phone, man. Uh, here we go. What type of ranking system will Zodiac have potentially? Well, all that I can think of right now for temporary is going to be peons. Like, I want to model it after the old Halo 2 clan ranking system. If you guys remember like that. Peons, uh, all I remember is like peons and the top was overlords. Yeah. I can't remember the, I can't remember the other ones. I think I it was captain that. and member. I think. Biggs, do you remember it all? It was Captain. It was, oh, fucking, I can't remember what the fuck it was. I can't, I can't wait to Google it, but... but... Good luck. It's such an obscure fucking yeah, Google. Yeah, but if we have a history, he'll be Grand Master and everyone else will be slaves for the afterlife. <laughs> oh, he'll be, he'll be the Grand Wizard. He'll be Grand, grand Wizard. Yeah. Goddamn. Everybody else is slaves for the afterlife. <laughs> and he's gonna be like, hey, go, man, you wanna try this Kool-Aid? <laughs> Check your radar, kid. <laughs> Everybody try out this Kool-Aid. It's, it's cool. Uh, have you ever listened to that, Jim Jones? That recording yeah. when they was doing it. Dude, I've, I had a... I found a... There's a local bowling team called Jim Jones and the Kool-Aid Gang. <laughs> Shit was fucking hilarious. Jim Jones fucking... I don't... I don't think he's a bad guy. He's fucking... We, have, we should make a... <laughs> What's that? What do you mean he wasn't a bad guy? <laughs> he, he, wasn't, he, wasn't. Uh, he culted like 60 people to their death, bro. <laughs> So what? They're fucking idiots. It's their fault. We take the Darwin approach, I guess. Yeah. We should. We need to make a a, a Zodiac Kool Aid drink, like a like a G fuel. <laughs> like a G fuel. Well, you drink it, it and then drink it and hit fucking no. It's just it's just yeah. sleeping medicine. Drink it, hit a jarro. <laughs> yeah, it's goat goat flavor yeah. is the sleeping medicine. We should make our own. We should make our own G fuel. Zodiac G fuel. I I actually I have uh, Brooke from G Fuel's hey, Bo, number for local. I can like make one. Oh, yeah. We can make one. It'll be, it should be like whiskey flavored or something, <laughs> or tequila oh, flavored, since flavored. that's what since that was <laughs> that's what he drank. Bo likes bourbon. You're the tequila guy, right? Yeah, I, I yeah. Bo's a bourbon guy. I'm a tequila guy. Right. What do you drink? Whiskey. I don't drink, dude. dude. <laughs> I smoke a lot, All but right. when I drink, I usually prefer whiskey. He drinks, he drinks the Zodiac G Fuel. <laughs> he drinks the Zodiac. <laughs> I'll be the lab rat. Hell yeah. I can make it, man. I'll put some fucking, oh, I'll put some weed it. in it. No. <laughs> some coke in it. <laughs> What's in this? So you don't want to know. <laughs> you're you're going to hit some crazy cocaine. Butt. It's got fucking Adderall in it. <laughs> yeah, it's just grinding up Adderall. <laughs> comes with a QR yeah, code that just shows up, like a fucking montage now. promo. It's got, a, it's got a delayed fuse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Before you finish drinking it, self destructs you. 20 minutes later, you're like fucking skin's crawling. Okay, so check this out. Um, if only someone was cataloging and documenting the history of old Halo stuff. X, please link your Discord for all of those that want to join the great uh, library of Halo Xandria. Is what I'm calling it. There's, she's got like, okay, she, her her Discord channel. Oh, wait, I'll just bring it up on here. Let's look. So you guys look at the stream. So check this out. Like on the fucking side here, there's so much shit. My favorite ones are like the old school ones, like these. But um, Are you getting the chat? I can't fucking see it. No, open up my stream. My computer's not good enough to share the screen. It'll fucking lag out. Just type it in the uh, Discord chat. Oh, okay, hold on. I don't know if I can invite people. Let me try. Wait, yes, I can. Well, it's some sort of fucking pedophile website. You can get invites. What the fuck going on? Yeah, stop asking so many questions. <laughs> Put in the Discord stream there. Project Reclaimer, and I'm going to post it in here. There we go. Nice. Step, are you getting a little more comfortable? <laughs> I, haven't got beer, I haven't got a beer better anymore, so no, it doesn't make a difference. Yeah, but in the uh, in the Discord, there's hella cool stuff. I'm gonna try to find the um. There's like these pods people are playing the games in. It's well, pretty insane. Is, did the um chink uh the, you know all the chink they've got all the um the chink MCC, aren't they? I don't know. On servers, now, aren't they? Oh, here we go. Here it is. No, 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 oh, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. I got it. 
dude, look at these pods. These people are playing inside of video game pods. I want this at the land center. So I can put those fucking loud ass kids in them and they yeah, can just yell to their heart's content. We'll Suicide boots, yeah. <laughs> Look at this old Xbox controller. It's a literal fucking gun. <laughs> it's like <laughs> Look how cool people used to be with guns back in the day. Nobody had their head up their own ass hella hard. Are you sending the link? I already put it in the uh I put it in the group chat. It's under um, the uh, Xbox Experience 2002 Winter Showcase. Just scroll down a little bit. It's right next to Japan Launch if you want to see Easy Eye Access. Wait, what am I looking at here? On Project Reclaimer. It's Exotica's um, Discord where she's storing all things classic Halo. Oh, she, she, had, she posted the Japanese okay. one she had, which were really cool. Yeah, that's what I'm looking at. There's a uh, Xbox Experience 2002 Winter Showcase. And they have, like, the Japan launch. They've got fucking Xmas parties. What else? H2 launches. This is nice. Look at that. Look at that, chat. It's just too bright for my eyes. I have to shut that shit up. Toys R Us, Times Square, Halo fucking 2. Come get it, nerds. <laughs> Hell yeah. Launch party in Finland. Let's go. <laughs> Look at that, bro. Imagine showing up to that. That old original Xbox Live logo. Come get your family threatened on this live platform. <laughs> God damn. One second, man. Grab a sleeping pill. Oh, yeah. I'm just going to take some Ambien. <laughs> you ever took any of that Ambien stuff? Makes you crazy. You know, that's why he undid his, his belt, because he takes it uh, rectally. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot faster. Yeah. He, he shelves it too. Pill, he's an OG. It's a horse pill, but he's ready for it. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, why do you have to go to the other room to take your pill? <laughs> is that is that is that whimpering out here in the back room? Hold on. Right, uh. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> See him, you see him walking in like this. Yeah, why is he walking back like a cowboy? <laughs> I gotta go soon. My work, I, I start work in 15 minutes. I gotta get over there. Couple jars. Yeah, they're fucking chat questions or what? Let's see. I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call it after these chat questions because I have to go to work. <laughs> Chad says he is doing Coca Cola and he's bored and gone to beat his slaves. All right. <laughs> Who is that about? I wonder. <laughs> Why are you walking back like a cowboy though? Told them while you're gone that uh, you take your sleeping pill rectally because it hits harder. <laughs> that's, why undid, that's why you undid your belt. He said, "Oh, time for my sleeping pill." And you walked into the room. I heard some whimpering in the other room. It's better when you do have sleeping pills at your fucking daycare, man. <laughs> oh, 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 oh da Danny Goatman's coming. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. He's taking his pants off. Oh no, it's time to sleep. Ooh. I'm so tired. He's going to make his watches jaros. He's going to make his watches jaros. Where's my mummy? <laughs> yo, yo, goat. Any more questions what? in the chat? Uh, any, any, guys, any questions in the chat? Any questions at all? 
Your fucking chats are fucking boring, man. What the fuck? They just like to watch. Rate Halo. Okay, all of us rate Halo Infinite 1 through 10. 4. I'll give it a 6. 6. I'll give it a 7 because the campaign was pretty good. I didn't even play the campaign. Yeah. Nah, I didn't go. I haven't played the campaign since Halo 3. Yeah. To me, that game gets a lot of games fucking terrible to do. It was a fun challenge. Yeah. I liked the campaign. I'm quite Solo Legend is cool. The forges, though, because then um, Halo Finals Forge was amazing. Yeah. I think the maps are too fucking tall compared to the Spartans. Like, everything's just abnormally fucking tall, if that makes sense. Like, the buildings, like, that well, are I mean, supposed to be... I mean, we all know, yeah. I mean, they had, to, they, had to build the, they had to build the game around the movement, you know? So stupid. Well, they probably have to build around developers. That's why they're all five foot seven. Fuck campaign, what is wrong with you? I like the story, man. It was fun. <laughs> it was a good experience. Yeah, Blake's a machine. It's never wrong being a Halo lore. I fucking, I watch fucking like Warhammer 4K lore. Yeah, right. Shit. It's, never, it's, never, it's never wrong being nerdy, man. Fucking... Is Bo more Dylan oh. or Eric? Eric. Okay. <laughs> All right. I got to go to work, guys. Um, let's end it on a good note here. You guys want to rewatch oh, no, no, the podcast? Yeah, a, question, a, a question from Keys. Oh, okay. Uh, a question for more for Blake. He says, is Zodiac for Halo 2 fans or for all Halo? If all Halos, why does he see it appealing to fans for others when someone is not following Infinite gravitate specific titles? I don't know. Wait, that. what? This <laughs> is... It's such a long way. Oh, my God. Is Zodiac for Halo 2 fans or all Halo? If all Halos, why does he see it appealing to fans of the others when anyone not following Infinite gravitates to specific? No, I think he's. I think he might have misinterpreted us earlier saying that we're talking about other games as in other Halo games. We're talking about games in general, like yeah, we're talking about we're talking about all games. Yeah, like, like Counter Strike, like, fucking COD, like whatever, bro. Like yeah, like everything. Just sick ass plays, sick ass shit that like what. We want to be a place where, like, the people that are next up are going to be. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. the clips that really matter. The clips that, you know, and, you know a lot, there's a lot of, like, clip stealing that goes on in the fucking entertainment industry for esports as well. So it's like, if we can have a place where we have, like, a group of people that can, like, even submit their clips and we can all vouch that, like, hey, like, no, this is established. Like, this person did this at this time. You know, it's... The thing is, it would never matter because when you've got people who are in grassroots HCS who have thousands upon thousands of followers, like we've seen, then Blitz fucking, I don't really give a fuck. They stole some of my clips, made them viral. Yeah. Well, that's the thing, man. Is like it's our job as content creators that are going to be the better people in this regard. They can only copy. They can't. Like, why, why do we? Why do we have to be the better person? Not the better person, better? the better players, because they can only okay. copy and imitate. They can't actually create something. That's no, the no, whole point of it. Fucking, no, we have to fucking make it equilibrium. They'll all, all, or they'll always be a step behind. As long as we keep at it, they'll always be a step behind. I think we fucking well, need I, to all do something, do something in fucking person, man. Fucking meet these people. <laughs> well, yeah, that too. I like I like both ideas. You can do both. We gotta we gotta like, lead by like, clip like, example like, and lead uh, with our jab. Calling people, calling people on their shit, you know. Yeah, like yeah. that's what Joe Rogan I, did I to fucking like uh, what's his people, name? People think they can get away with too much these days, and they don't think there's any uh, consequence. Yeah. We, we we live in a world now that has no consequence. Anybody that watches the podcast knows that we call out, we call that shit out, and like the more we do it, the more other people are gonna do it too, and I think that's like what it really comes down to just keeping these people accountable that's why gotta be held accountable for that shit i'll I'll call i'll call people out (laughs) and you you guys know me you know that where i'm coming from yeah you know i'm right i might seem like fucking drunk on the podcast so i think i'm fucking hiding fucking drunk it again fucking who's gonna believe him i'm coming from like a fucking place that's fucking real you know what i mean Mm -hmm. i might talk some shit you're not shit-faced you're just buzzed is if i was shit-faced man fucking like yeah Yeah. yeah Just, trust me. I'm about twenty beers away from being shit faced. <laughs> but are you gonna bang the? 
Oh my god, I'm not reading that out loud. Say it. He says, "Nah, you submissive, you Dylan bitch. Besides Bo, who are you guys? GTS? <laughs> That's Goatman Jarl, and I'm Blake the Strafe. But are you gonna? <laughs> no, I'm not reading that one. I'm big, big sport nine. He only likes the cold one, Zibby. And he's asking, are you gonna bang the passed out woman next to you? Who's asking that? <laughs> Zibby. I don't even know who that is. Oh, oh fucking Zibby. Yeah. Who's Zibby? Yeah, Zibby, old school Zibby. Is that uh -oh. a pedophile thing? <laughs> God damn. That's Zibby, trust me. Glad to meet you, Zibby. <laughs> Zibby's all right. What, what, do you, what do you say? What do you say about us? What would you say? You play them, got me, you twat. I know who Zibby is. I know who Zibby is. I play a million other things Zibby. All right. Well, I got to go to work, guys. Good shit today. I'll upload it. Um, once Twitch allows me to process it. So I'll have it hopefully on tonight if you guys want to share the podcast. If anybody's coming in now or missed it, that's what we're going to do. Zibby Ooh. says Seattle sucks. All right. Okay, okay. <laughs> what? What's that? It's a goat man keep streaming the podcast. Oh, yeah, yeah. You guys keep going, but I got I to gotta go go to work. I'll talk to you guys later. Good night,